Hello, my Sagittariuses, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. I am Debbie. So we are reading for March 3rd, 4th, and 5th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I have done an overview, a time for wishes. I think that's what I called it. And I do a reading for the what's going on in the world, and I talk about what's going on and what's happening in March with the transition. So take a look. I also tell you that these are general readings that may or may not resonate. Take, you know, basically take what you like, leave the rest, okay? Um, I do feel that there is a new emotional journey coming up for my Sages. It's a very, um, it's just something you're very committed to. So let's see if that's something going on with this weekend or, you know, because like I you know, changes going on with the, uh, with Pisces. Pisces has that emotional cup energy, uh, so fluid emotional energy, romantic energy, taking a, taking your relationships, again, what is that with your work, your job, your career, to a new level. Card has fallen. Let's see what we've got here. We have reversed. We have the justice card. So let's see what we have going on here. And, you know, this is Radley Valentine's deck, so, and as much as I love and, resi and and connect with these decks, this, a lot of times, the Justice card is generally an 11, and the Strength card is generally an 8. So, we will take it as we will take it. So, this is Archangel Raguel also. So, let's see, Higher Power, Holy Spirit, what is going on? Um, I do feel like with um, Saturn, Saturn is considered the Lord of Karma, and with all the change-ups going on the 7th, that there could be that karmic justice coming to you. Now, I don't do legal advice, but sometimes justice does have to do with something legally. Okay, so this one is reversed, and usually reversed to me. Reverse cards say, I've got something to tell you that's really, really important. So there's, some, there's a lot of strength in reverse cards. So we have an eight. Eight is unlimited opportunities, unlimited possibilities. Justice is, again, the balancing of the scales. It has a lot of Libra energy to it. Um, but again, you know, this would have been the strength card in the traditional tarot. So there's, you know, and this is why I say strength and justice. There is justice and strength. So if you've been waiting for something to right itself, continue to wait. But it is coming closer than you've thought. Just keep strong. You know, you have to, you know, there, there's a sense of not giving up. Um, now, sometimes you have to divert. Sometimes you have to um, step back a little bit. But don't give up, especially on your prayers, your medic, you know, your meditations. Don't give up on giving it to God or source or whoever that is for you. Because this is justice is coming. Justice is happening. Now, is it the justice that you may want? Maybe not. Divine justice is not necessarily the way, you know, human justice would like it to be. But this is about justice and this is about strength. So, fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. So don't back down on that part. Next card is the two of air. Now, Leo just got this one and there was a lot of angst with the Leo reading. So if you have any Leo in your in your star chart and your you know in your chart you may want to cross watch with that. So we have two. Two is um, crossroads, choices, decisions, coming together, partnering. Air is our Aquarius, our our Gemini, it's our Libra energy. Remember, things are coming and going for Aquarius right now. Also, um, Gemini, Mars will be leaving Gemini, but that's at the end of March. So there is so Mars still is in Gemini, so there is still a very strong push. Um, you know, Libra, again, Libra's a little bit on the um, quieter side right now, but it is about thought processes, thinking things through. It is about making, you know, and making decisions. It is about coming together. So the Air of Swords, Air of Air, the Two of Air, or the Air, or the Two of Swords, is basically, you know, just kind of being paralyzed with, an, you know, what is it? An, uh, paralysis by analysis is just thinking too much and too hard. And because you're, think, you're, you're thinking so hard, you're not taking any action. You're not making any movement. Now, sometimes that's, that's okay. You know, sometimes you do need to um, 
to wait it out a little bit more, but I'm kind of feeling for you, my Sages, is that it's time to make a decision. What do you want out of this? What do you want out of the relationship? What, you know, work, job, career, um, personal, intimate, family, home, you know, what is it that you want? It is okay for you to ask for that, okay? I have a feeling that it's more a case of you not asking, and because you don't ask, you don't receive. Um, you know, it's kind of like where, you know, where somebody says, oh, where do you want to go for dinner? And you go, oh, I don't care. You choose. And really, you did care. You wanted to go somewhere, you know, of interest to you. Um, and, you know, so then somebody's out there saying, yeah, but if I was to say what I wanted, then, you know, it still would not matter. And, well, maybe it wouldn't, but at least you would have said what you wanted to do. Now, I do find, just as an aside, that, um, you know, if you are with somebody who does that kind of game, where do you want to go to dinner? Tell them two choices. Oh, I would either like to go to XYZ for um, Italian food, or I would like to go to ABC for something more exotic, okay? So, you know, sometimes give, and again, the two, sometimes giving two choices um, gives you more opportunity to get what you want. And again, I don't know that it's about a restaurant. I'm not saying that. It's just, I get this feeling, if you don't ask, you don't receive. Here we go. And the, your justice card wants you to be getting, you know, justice wants fair, you know, fair and just decisions. Here we go. Next card is the chariot, the chariot. Now, again, this card, not this card per se, but I think that, um, the other version came up in the Leo. So if you have Leo, definitely take a peek at that one. If you have Leo in your car, in your chart at all. The chariot is a seven. So we have an eight to seven. So this is swift energy, swift justice. I'm kind of feeling like there's a swiftness to it. And that might be the thing, maybe why you don't want to make a decision is because you know that once you make a decision, there's no going back from that decision. And so there's swift energy, there's um, promotion energy here, there is, um, there is job development energy here. There's also keep your hands off the wheel energy here, let go and let God energy with this. The chariot to me is always about something happening very quickly. So once, once you make the decision, it's like that, bing, bang, you got it. So we have the seven again, divine umbrella, divine intervention, divine interference, Archangel Metatron, believed to have been Enoch before the flood, okay? So this is about an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. So a lot of times this does have a promotion or a bonus type of energy, or it's just one of those times you just, you know, you just say, hey, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm going to give it to you, give it to you, God you take over. So, so there's some, there's a, there, but again, again, this justice is very, that things right themselves. Things are, you know, things go the way they're supposed to go. Maybe because you've taken your hands off of the wheel and you've stopped, you've stopped, um, analyzing so much. I don't know. Let me, let me know. Anyway, eight, two, seven, seven, two, eight. Let's see. John Holland, Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. Let's see what you've got going for our Sagittariuses. What do we have for our Sagittarius? What do we have for our Sagittarius now? What's there for our Sagittariuses? Here we go. Okay. Okay, well, this is a three. This would be the three of Earth energy. So three is um, celebration, creation. It's also the power of three. This is Earth, uh, um, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, money, job, career. Capricorn and Taurus still have that, a lot of energy going on. And this is the full moon in Virgo. So this is about recognition. This is about reward. This is about receiving your due. So whatever this is, stop at, stop overanalyzing it so much. Stop thinking so much about whatever's happening. Give it to God, give it to Source, and then just receive. It's a time to receive, okay? Let's see. Angels of Abundance, what do you want to say to our Sagittarius's? What do you want to say to our Sagittarius? Yeah, this is, I do like this better than I did Leo's. <laughs> 
there's positive movement here for you. But let's let's see what we've got going. What what do you want to say to our Sagittarius angels of abundance? What do you want to say? It's a raise or promotion, so there is money coming in, or there's something going on with this. Congratulations! An increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. I like that. I do like that for you, my my Sages. I love that. Anyway, keep up the good work. Okay? Okay, let's see what else we might have. What crystal or energy for our Sagittarius is. Crystal or energy for our Sagittarius is. What do we have here? Okay. Blue lace agate. It's all about kindness good communication, peaceful outcomes, love, and marriage. One of the water signs got that too. So, again, sometimes these are like validations when you cross-watch. Sometimes they're not. Okay, my Sagittariuses, please support my channel by going down and liking, sharing, and subscribing, clicking on the bell for notifications, because you do. You keep me coming. You keep me coming back. As always, though, my Sagittarius is always know that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.